Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I am back with another air fryer recipes video and today's recipe is one of my favourites to date. I have done it a couple of times now and I honestly want you guys to try it as well because it is so, so good. So if you fancy a chicken shawarma when you're out, you know, um, a nice meal, maybe a family meal out, I don't know, we love them. And now that I've got an air fryer oven, it has a rotisserie function, which is perfect if you want to make homemade chicken shawarma. So I thought I would give it a go. You will see in this video how beautifully it turned out. Honestly, the chicken was so juicy and tender and had so much flavor. I am going to continue to make this recipe because it's just one you do not want to miss. So if you do have a rotisserie function on your air fryer, then I would really suggest that you try this one. And once you've done it, you're gonna to want to make it again and again. It's really that good. So I served mine on some Lebanese flatbread. I cut up some salad on the side. I made some homemade garlic sauce and I even popped some chips in the wrap. And honestly guys, it was just so good. I can't explain how good it was. Mouth watering recipe. You have to try it and as always i will be listing all the ingredients measurements things like that down in the description box below so if you do want to follow along with this recipe head down there you will find all the information and i just want to say if you don't have a rotisserie function in your air fryer oven or your air fryer then don't worry because i think you can still make it work if you wrap everything in some tin foil really tight pop it in your air fryer until it's kind of glued together and then you can still slice it the way I did in this video. Um, then you can remove the foil and just crisp it up on the outside. So there's still a way that you can do it if you don't have the rotisserie function. But of course, because I do have that function, I wanted to make use of it and try it out. And honestly, it was great. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this recipe, if you're going to try it, if you've tried it before and any suggestions that you would like me to take on board for any future videos. So let's get straight into today's recipe and I will see you at the end. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start by making the marinade. So I have got some plain yogurt here. Then I've got around five cloves of garlic, which I'm just going to mince up in my garlic press. Then I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice. I'm using half a lemon. I'm going to remove the pips in a second. Then I'm going to be adding in some tomato puree. Then I've also got some chili powder, some turmeric. I'm also adding in some onion powder, some paprika. I'm adding in some salt, some cumin. I've got some coriander powder. I've got a little bit of nutmeg, then I'm going to add some black pepper, as much or as little as you like, and then I'm going to end with some oil. Now that we've added everything in, I am going to give everything a really good mix. Make sure you combine all of these spices together, and then you should get a nice thick marinade that looks something like this. So now it's time to add in the chicken. So I've got some chicken breast here that's been sliced very thinly and then I've cut each slice in half just so that it fits nicely on the rotisserie rod. So I'm adding all of that in and then I am going to make sure I massage it really well, making sure it's coated really well in that marinade. So now you just want to cover this and pop this into your fridge for a minimum of three hours. It's even better if you do it overnight. So I came back around three hours later and I took my marinated chicken out of the fridge. And now we are going to assemble the rotisserie rod. So this is what it looks like. I've already added the attachment at the bottom. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a skewer and I am going to pierce a hole directly in the center of the piece of chicken, just so that I can then put it through the rotisserie rod like so. So I'm just going to start adding each piece of chicken on top of the other, making sure it's nice and equal on all sides. So I'll just show you how I do that now. So 
so now that i've added all of my chicken this is what it's looking like and then i'm just going to take half an onion and i'm just going to just pop that on the top just to secure everything and then add the other attachment on the rotisserie rod and this is how it's looking it honestly it looks so good already even before it went in to the air fryer oven so i'm just going to pop that straight in now and then the functions i chose are the rotisserie preset function and that cooked everything at 180 degrees celsius for 45 minutes So while my chicken is cooking nicely, I thought I'd prep my salad. So I have got some red cabbage that I'm just going to slice up and then I'm just going to pop it into a small bowl and just pop that aside. Then I'm also going to cut up one medium white onion. You can use red if you like. I just wanted to change up the colors, so I chose white. Again, slice that up nice and thinly, pop it into a bowl and pop that aside for later. And then I also chopped up some lettuce. So I've got some iceberg lettuce here, which I am going to cut up nice and small and fine. And then I pop this into a colander first because don't forget to wash your lettuce guys because it's it's never washed when you buy it most of the time it isn't anyway so um i'm going to give that a wash pop it into a bowl and set that aside as well and then i decided to make my homemade garlic sauce because it goes so well with this dish so i've got some greek yogurt here then i'm going to add in some mayonnaise then I am adding in around three cloves of garlic again just using my garlic press to mince that nicely and then I'm going to add in some dried mint and then you just want to mix everything together and this is what it should start to look like and honestly this garlic sauce is so so good you will not want to buy the store bought one um, ever again once you start making it at home. So now I just went ahead and checked on the chicken and it was looking absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it has cooked beautifully on the outside. So I carefully removed it from my air fryer oven and just look at how good that looks. So because this is a shawarma, we are going to slice it around the edges. So I'm going to grab my um, oven proof gloves because the rotisserie rod was so, so hot at this point. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice gourmet knife, nice and sharp, and I am going to start slicing downwards um, from the top all the way down all around the edges. As you will see here, the chicken is honestly so, so beautifully cooked. It was still so, so juicy inside. The flavours of the marinade just sunk into that chicken. It was honestly so beautiful. So I'm going to slice off the outer layer and then what i decided to do is pop the rotisserie rod back into the air fryer oven just so i can crisp up the chicken a little bit more um so yeah i'm going to do that now and i'll pop this back into the air fryer oven And just to give you a closer look, this is what the chicken was looking like. Honestly, it was so, so good. I did take a little bite and it just was so, so beautiful. So you have to try it. So that went back into the oven. And in the meantime, I prepared my first wrap. So I've got some Lebanese flatbread here. I'm going to layer the bottom with some of that garlic sauce that we made. I then added a generous amount of chicken shawarma followed by my salad so I'm starting with my onions then I added the red cabbage then I topped with some iceberg lettuce and then I added some chili sauce this is the Maggie's one so I added a little bit of this over the top and then I just thought why not add some fries as well so I did that um, then I just topped with a little bit more garlic sauce because like I said this garlic sauce is so so good and now the very difficult part was to actually wrap this up so I did my best tried to make sure it doesn't leak um, the bread was tearing a little bit but that's okay I then wrapped it in some foil just to hold it together a little bit better 
I cut into it and this is what our wrap was looking like. How delicious does that look? Honestly, it's something that you buy in the takeaway or when you go out to a restaurant and it was honestly so, so good. So of course I took out my gorgeous platter and I just plated everything up with a bit more fries and salad on the side and this is what it ended up looking like. Honestly, it was stunning. It was so, so good. So, so juicy, like I have mentioned a hundred times before in this video. I just need you to try it and then get back to me. Let me know how it turned out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. So there you go, guys. That was today's recipe. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please try it out if you like food like this. And again, don't forget to hit that like button below. It really, really helps me out. And yeah, guys, I will see you in my next video. So take care until then. Bye.